Hey guys, welcome back to Beauty in the Grind. So I thought that I would start the beginning of September off with a hair tutorial, specifically a hair tutorial using Foxy Locks hair extensions. So if you're interested in learning how to create victory rolls while wearing clip-in hair extensions, which is what I have going on right here, I've got these lovely victory rolls happening. If you wanna just learn new tips and techniques for working with your hair extensions, or if you just are simply curious in how I created this style using hair extensions and then creating the victory roll, I will share all of it with you tonight in this tutorial. So please keep watching. Tonight, I'm going to be showing you all how to create these beautiful victory rolls. I am using Foxy Locks hair extensions. I'll walk you through all of that in the next part. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notifier so you always know when I post something new. And with that, we are going to move right into tonight's tutorial. Okay, so there are a few products that you're going to want to have on hand before you get started, um, obviously, doing victory rolls with extensions. So the first thing is dry shampoo. I do highly recommend doing a style like this on first day or second day hair only. And this is why, unless you can go almost a week without washing your hair. By the third day, I find that when the hair gets dirty or kind of matty in the back, even with dry shampoo, that the tracks are more easily visible from the extensions. So I always recommend doing this on first day or second day old hair. I also recommend a couple different hairsprays. I have a very light hold hairspray. This is a Redken one. It's Fashion Work 12. My extensions love this stuff. If you want to learn a little bit more about how to take care or maintain extensions, such as the Foxy Locks, you can check out my video that will pop up up here. It's about the Foxy Locks wear and tear, and it just makes some really valuable suggestions on what extensions really love and what they don't like. The next product I can recommend is a medium hold hairspray. This one's from Pureology. It's the Color Stylist Strengthening Control. And finally, a heavy or hard hold hairspray. This is my favorite. It's the Bedhead TG. Now, I will only be using this on my victory rolls. I won't be using it throughout the rest of my hair because my extensions are very long and extensions don't like hard hold hairspray. So the other product that I'm going to recommend is a heat protectant styling lotion. This is the Redken Iron Shape. 11. They have different levels. This is a spray, has no alcohol in it. The extensions love this stuff. You can purchase a styling lotion that will help your hair retain the shape that you create with a curling iron or flat iron and also lend itself to heat protection. You can find them in like a tube or even a pump. This one's just a spray and you can spray it into your hands and rub it through your hair or you can spray it directly on your hair. So that's why I recommend this product. Finally, to get them a glossy victory rolls, you're gonna want a pomade. This is by El Patron. I love it because it just creates the most beautiful glossy sheen to your hair and also gives it some control. So let's move into some hair tools. The hair tools I'm gonna to be using today that I find very valuable for creating this look is a rat tail comb that's got a very nice um, sharp pointy end. It, it's not sharp, but it helps to, you know, create the parts in your hair and separate your hair and it's it also does back combing so this is what I will be using for some back combing today <laughs> this is actually a beard bore bristle brush I love it because it's small and it really helps to tame the flyaways and smooth everything out so I do recommend you know a small bore bristle brush it doesn't have to be this one um, but a bore bristle brush a regular brush for brushing your own hair and then I have a special brush that I use for my hair extensions only. This one is from Foxy Locks because I only wear Foxy Locks hair extensions. If you want to learn a little bit more about them, I'll pop this video up right here and you can check that out if you want to. It just kind of goes through what is Foxy Locks and why I like them so much. A hairnet. If you can get a fine lace hairnet, you will find that it helps to set the curl. I'll explain more of that later. And then bobby pins. I always recommend grabbing bobby pins that match your own hair color. And then finally, now this is important. I do want to share this tip because 
it really helped me and this whole video is to help you so I want to share them you're gonna want to get these pin curl clips now these pin curl clips I got at Walmart you can get a 30 pack for 250 but see how it has a point this really helps to go along the scalp and pin and stay tightly against the scalp with your hair while it's cooling and then last but not least you're going to want your curling iron this is an inch i recommend doing an inch or three quarters of an inch anything bigger and the curl won't be tight enough i have mine set on 360 degrees now this is a hot tools curling iron i love them i will be bringing you guys a review about hot tools to my youtube channel very shortly if you would love to see that leave this video a thumbs up put it in the comment section i read y'all's comments i love hearing from you guys and then finally your clip-in hair extensions. So like I mentioned, I am using the Foxy Locks brand. I love them for multiple reasons, mainly because I don't have to back comb my hair and they wear comfortably. Now, I'm not gonna go through how to put my hair extensions in because it would make this video extremely long. If you wanna see an exact video of how I clip in these hair extensions, you can check out the video that will pop up over here. Today, what I wanna make note of is which hair extensions I am using. I'm going to be using two of the single wefts. These are just one clip wefts. I'm gonna lay them aside. We're not gonna be putting them in our hair until we're about ready to create the victory roll. I'll be using my two side clips. So these are the two side clips my two um, three clip wefts right here and then one of my four clip wefts so i'm going to go ahead and pop those in my hair and i'll be right back okay guys so i have three of my wefts in currently and i wanted to talk to you all about the two clip wefts real quick so the whole thing with victory rolls is that you're going to be parting your hair and then rolling up the top portion into the roll so the biggest thing when you're wearing hair extensions is you don't want any of your tracks to be showing. If you have really silky hair, like your hair is virgin hair, it has no damage to it at all, and your clips are not wanting to stay in, go ahead and bulk up your strands with some dry shampoo. I'm going to do this towards the end before I start rolling my hair, and I'm going to show you that. So I'm going to part my hair right here where my temples are, and I'm going to bring it back. So... When you start your victory rolls, they're gonna come right, they're gonna start like right at the tip of your ear, right? So when you're doing a two clip weft, you want that weft to start here, like back behind your ear, so that you have hair that's gonna cover that track. And then turning around, you're just going to clip it in back here. So your two wefts might meet in the middle, but that's fine because you're still gonna have the length and you're still gonna have the bulk that you want. And you want to just make sure that you have enough hair clipped up top so that when you let your hair down, those tracks are covered. So here is the next step. We're actually going to roll the hair. Now, like I mentioned before, you can bulk up your hair with some dry shampoo. Give your dry shampoo a really good shake, no matter which one that you have that you're using. And it could be like Batiste. This one is the Pillow Proof from Rebkin. It's my favorite. However, I love dry shampoo. I'd love to hear your all suggestions on dry shampoo that you love. So if you use something else besides Redken Pillow Proof, please comment down below. Let me know what you're using so I can give it a try. I like to take my pinky finger and I'll separate about up, up high, like right below, right above my eyebrow. And I just spray and then I drop it. Then I'll separate my hair again and then I let that sit for about a minute massage it into my scalp and then I'm going to turn around and I'm going to do the back here and that's all that I do once I've got that sprayed I take my brush preferably my foxy locks brush just because I do have my hair extensions in now and I kind of give that dry shampoo a good brushing and look how much more volume I have in my hair just by adding dry shampoo. Dry shampoo is a miracle worker. Once we have that done, you're gonna want to part your hair according to where you want your victory rolls to sit. A lot of girls will go right down the center so that they have equal victory rolls sitting right here. I don't like to do that, that's not my style. Um, I like to do a little bit off center. I think it is the most flattering. You can do whichever you prefer. The way that I'm teaching you how to roll will work with, for whichever way that you wanna part your hair. I'm going to slightly part it off center. Okay, so now that we have the hair parted, 
we're going to do some heat protectant. And this is a look that takes a, about, you know, 20 to 30 minutes to, you know, create unless you're really used to doing it. So I don't want to take up too much time in showing you all how to spray this to your hair. So I'm going to just show you a quick way of doing it. You want to clip off a half section of your hair and then pull your hair extensions forward and around your shoulders. Go ahead and give one side a quick brush through and then you're going to split that into two. And then taking like an alligator clip or a prong, you're just going to want to kind of clip this one back so it doesn't get in the way. Then you're going to start doing your setting lotion. So for the sake of the fact that this is on my vanity, I'm not going to spray it because I don't want it all over my makeup brushes. So I'm just going to spray it right in my hand. I usually do about five pumps and then I just rake my hands through each section. So once you have the lotion in that one side, you're gonna give it a nice brush through and then move on to the next side. Now, when both sides are done, I clip off the entire section before dropping the top section. Now, it is very important that you really work on getting the ends because you want the ends to stay as curled as possible. Okay, so now we are ready to roll our hair. You're gonna wanna grab one inch sections. They don't have to be perfect, but you wanna kind of keep the sections as close to the same size as possible so that everything stays even. What you wanna do more importantly is just roll the hair towards your scalp in an upward motion. So usually you roll your hair down and under towards your face. With victory rolls, you're gonna wanna make sure first of all that your ends are in and that you're rolling the hair upward and toward the scalp. So what you do is after you take the curl off the barrel, you're going to grab one of these little pin clips and then shove it inside that curl so the curl is held and it can sit. So this is how I'm curling my hair. So you can see I've got some different layering going on here. And if you're like me and you have layered hair, you're gonna start curling about an inch from the ends. That way, as you're curling down, you can release the handle of the barrel and suck those ends into the barrel while rolling. And that will help get it all inside the barrel. Now, a lot of um, YouTubers that I've watched, they all do it differently. Some great YouTubers that have given me inspiration is the Cherry Doll Face and Pinup Doll Ashley Marie. They have great tutorials on hair and I do recommend checking them out. Now, another way that you can tell if your hair is ready to come off the barrel is you take your fingers and you hold it up here on the hair. And if it feels uncomfortable to the touch, not burning hot, because if it's burning hot, that means it's burning your hair. But if it's starting to get uncomfortable through the touch, you can feel the heat throughout the entire hair. That's when you know to take it off the barrel. And when it's ready to come off, you just lightly release the handle of your curling iron and gently pull the hair off the barrel and loop your thumb into the curl. Then you can curl the hair down towards your scalp, take the pin curl clip, and then clip it inside. So those are the first three rolls. Now something that I need to go ahead and do, which I should have done before I started rolling, is we need to separate the hair. So taking the end of your rat tail comb, you're gonna start up here where you made your part and go down towards your ear and pull this hair forward so that you get a nice line. So you can see how it's parted. And my hair clip is still hidden. Now I'm going to go ahead and clip off the back section because this is the hair that we're gonna focus on rolling. I'm going to go ahead and do it on this side as well. So you're gonna pull this hair forward from your ear Separated up top, it comes nice and flush down to the back, separated here from this ear and separated here from this ear. That's the hair we're going to be focusing on curling up towards the scalp. So just to make this video a little bit shorter, I'm just going to start rolling. Okay guys, so once you have the victory roll portion set, you can take down the rest of your hair and you can decide 
what you're gonna do with it. Are you going to leave it straight? Um, Cause that looks great. Are you going to bun it up? Or are you going to go ahead and curl it? I love rocking my victory rolls with nice wavy hair on the bottom. That's just my thing. So that's what I'm going to do. And that's what I'm gonna show you guys how to do today. So I like to take one inch sections. I'm not perfect about it. And I curl these sections down and under. Now I find with extensions, because this portion has all my extensions in it, it takes a little bit of time for the extensions to heat up. And this portion, I don't clip. I have, I have clipped. But I have found a trick to doing my hair with hair extensions and creating these styles. And after I take it off the barrel, I'll just hold the curl for half a second and then I'll let it drop gently. Now I do curl the ends under. I don't do the whole beachy thing where like an end is sticking out and it creates that nice beachy wave because that's not the look that we're going for. We want the nice, beautiful, glossy coif hair. So you want those ends tucked up even if you're going to be brushing this out. But because you have the clip sitting next to your scalp, you can't run a clip along your scalp next to the hair extension at all. Um, so I find that pin curling my hair extensions is kind of a waste of my time. I mean, it's, and it's a lot of time because there's a lot more hair here. So what I do is I will use a hairnet to kind of help keep the curl in place while it's curling. Because if I don't, the hair will fall. Okay. And it won't have that bounce to it that, you know, the pin of rock, uh, rockabilly style has. So, and that's what I'm going to show you guys in a few minutes. I'm going to show you how magical hair nets are in so many different ways. <laughs> I love, I love a good hair net. Don't knock it till you try it. Trust me. Okay guys. So both sides are done and they're ready to go in the hair net. Now, before I put any of my hair in the net, I will take some of my fashion work from Redkin and lightly spray all the areas that I've curled. Now, this is what I'm talking about. A lace thin, this is actually from France, hairnet. I found this at a local hair supply store. You're gonna get one of these and put it on top of your curls like this and then tuck all of this hair that you just curled Woohoo! inside of the hairnet. So you just want to make sure that your hair is all up inside the hairnet. And like I said before, this is the secret that I use with my hair extensions to get these curls to set and cool and stay really up close to my scalp so that they don't fall instead of pin curling. It saves so much time. It's wonderful. So I'm going to go ahead and go in a circle so that you guys can see. And then you're gonna to wanna to let this set for at least 20 minutes. Okay guys, so when 20 minutes is over, you're gonna just gently take off the hairnet. Now, your hairnet is likely to get caught in some of the clips if you're not careful. That's how this one got a hole in it. So this will be the last time I use this darling, this darling hairnet. And then just gently put the back portion of your hair in the back of your head and take a clip and clip it out of the way because now is the time we are going to create our victory rolls. So the second thing is taking out all of these pin curl clips and you just want to kind of do it gently because they can get stuck in your hair. So now that this is all done, you're going to go ahead and rake your fingers through it very gently, especially if your hair falls quickly. And before we get started creating the victory rolls, we're going to incorporate these key pieces in. And one of the things that you're gonna wanna do before you clip this into your hair is curl it on the iron. You can do this while your hair is cooling if you want to, cause that will save time. But I didn't wanna do that without showing you guys what I was doing. And the main routine that this clip is gonna have in your hair is simply just giving it bulk. It's not really giving it length because you're curling your hair up and under. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is back comb my hair and start teasing it. 
Now, when you're creating victory rolls, you don't want to tease down this way because you're not curling down and under like you would a regular like pinup style. You're actually curling up towards your scalp. So you want to tease going in that direction on that side of the curl. And I tease all the way up the shaft, but I leave out the ends, mainly because if you tease the ends, they will splice out and it can make your victory roll look a bit messy. So this last little section, I don't tease because this is the outside of the victory roll and I want it to look smooth. So once I have my hair looking like this, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and clip in that hair extension. Remember, you don't wanna backcomb your hair extensions. Backcombing your hair extensions can and will ruin them. So now I'm going to find a suitable place to put this hair extension that I know it's going to be covered. So again, we're clipping it up and then we're going to pull this hair up and we're gonna see if that's gonna be noticeable. It's gonna be noticeable. So I'm gonna move it inward a little bit. Okay, so you cannot see my track, it is hidden, and that is exactly what we want. Okay guys, I'm changing the camera angle on you just a little bit because I want you to be able to see what I'm doing next, and I need to also be able to see what I'm doing. You don't wanna knock out that tease, so I don't recommend brushing very hard, and this is where that boar bristle brush comes in really handy because it will help to smooth out the surface hair without knocking out your tease. When you get to the very tips the tops here. You're going to curl them around the index finger and the middle finger. I'm going to start two inches below the ends and I'm going to wrap the ends around my fingers. And then I'm going to curl, I'm going to slip my fingers out. Okay, so now I have a loop. See, see the loop? I'm going to stick my thumb in the loop and I'm literally going to wind that down towards my scalp. When I get to my scalp, I'm going to then take my right hand to hold the roll and slip my thumb out. And I'm gonna try to make sure that I'm liking what I'm seeing because if you don't like what you're seeing, you're gonna wanna re-roll. Now, I have been known to push my victory roll back a little bit because I want it to not be too high but if you like your roll, if you like where it's going, you're gonna get your hairspray out. Now, I always start with my medium hole hairspray because I set with my harder hold hairspray. And you're gonna to wanna to use your left hand or that, whatever is the opposite hand that you're spraying with to kind of shape it a little bit. All that teasing is gonna help this roll stay in place while you're moving it around and getting it where you want it. And if you like it, and you know that this clip is hidden. Remember, we don't want that weft showing because that's just, that's just ratchet. You're going to take your bobby pin and pin inside the curl. So you're gonna pin inside the curl and then you're going to pin it down running along your scalp in this direction here. I usually give myself three pins. And I'm gonna show you. You really want it to go in your hair and then down at an angle because you want those ends to stay intact. Then, if you know you love it, give it a nice little brush, very lightly with your boar bristle brush, and then get ready to spray the living hell out of it. Like, I ain't kidding. So, I'm taking my hard hold hairspray and I'm going to just give it a nice light coat. Use my other hand to kind of sculpt it a bit. Bring it around to the front because we, we need, you're gonna need a lot of hold right here so that this doesn't get distorted throughout the day because you want these babies to last. So I'm gonna take a bobby pin and I'm gonna place it in the back because I'm gonna close the roll and I'm just basically taking extra hair and pushing it in. So there are currently three bobby pins in this roll and what I'm relying on the most is the tees to keep this intact and the hairspray. So now that that side's done, remember this roll is going to be bigger. I'm going to turn again and you're going to want to tease it.
I think it's really important that you put the amount of bobby pins in your hair that you feel is going to help it stay when you're wearing extensions. You might find that when you create this look and you're not wearing hair extensions, that you won't need as many bobby pins. But when you've got the extra hair in there, you need the extra pins to help it stay. Once that is done, you've got your bottom hair taken care of, whether you've curled it or left it straight, you're gonna grab your pomade. This is the El Patron. This is what it looks like. You're gonna get just a little bit, maybe like that. Rub it in the palm of your hand, especially on your fingertips, and bring it up. I've got a widow's peak, so I've got to hit my widow's peak. And bring it up over those victory rolls to give it some sheen and some shine to smooth down any flyaways that might be making your hair look kind of frizzy. Also, it will give it additional hold. So you can hold your rolls with a couple fingers and then use your other fingers to rub that pomade into it. And that's it. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a 360 turnaround so that you can see it from all angles. And voila, I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun putting it together. Hair tutorials take me a little bit more time to create because I have to create the space in order to be able to film it. So if you loved this video, if you found it helpful and enjoyable, please leave it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it with somebody that you might know. Thank you for joining me tonight and spending your time with me. Seriously, it's precious, I love it. Thank you for helping build the community. I'd love for you to subscribe, hit the bell notifier so you always know when I post something new. I post new videos every Monday. I launch something new every Monday. So the last couple weeks I did how to do victory rolls with natural hair I talked about my 15 Mac pan palette and then even created a nice beautiful fall look so if you're interested in those videos I will have them in the description box for you to check out also my social medias will be in the drop down menu I'd love for you to follow me on one of my social medias I do live Sundays every week from my Instagram and it's a great place to keep up with me on the daily, see what I'm getting into, some of the looks that I'm creating um, when I'm not here on YouTube. So you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you all next week. Bye. Now maybe you have an event that you're going to be going to, and you want <laughs> death by hairspray. That's a thing. Look it up.